guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is something really exciting and I'm a little bit daunting to be honest and that is my sixth months of all of my empties. So I wanted to save up all of my empties from the past six months, so from January to June of 2021 and show you guys everything that I finished because it's a lot and a lot of candles and a lot of body care and stuff but I have it in a pile in my room right here and I'm gonna lay it out on my bed and whatever doesn't fit on the bed, I guess I'll put it on the floor and just show you guys everything that I finished. But I think it's like a really cool like thought experiment to see that, um, but also to see like, there's a lot of waste that goes into this community that we have into candles, into body care. So please make sure that you're recycling everything. I haven't been doing anything cause I haven't thrown any of this stuff away yet but please make sure that you're recycling and everything. Um, like with candles, I'll just show you one of the empties that I have. You can pop them in the freezer and then you could just like stab them with a knife, honestly, and break up the wax. Um, this one will be a little hard because I had a lot of the wax stick on the sides, but like a single wick, like, I mean, a three wick like this, super easy. You'll just like stab it down the middle once it's frozen and it pops out really, really simple. Um, and then you can just stick the glass in your recycling bin. Um, might want to keep lids because they're having a lid shortage right now, but um, and then most of the body care you can recycle. It should have on the bottom if you can recycle it or not. Like this one um, has the little like thing, so you should be able to recycle shower gels. Let's see if the um, if the fragrance mist have that. I don't know. I don't see it on the fragrance mist, so maybe they're not recyclable. Um, and then what else? Let's see. I don't think the uh, body creams are. Hmm. So maybe just the shower gels and the lotions. I think the lotions are. Yeah, the lotions are. So, but just keep in mind that, you know, we are collectors and we love, you know, using up products and stuff like that, but please make sure that you're, you know, recycling for the betterment of your community and for the environment. Um, but with all that being said, don't judge me. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put a little preface in here. If you're here to make negative comments, please just go somewhere else you know, you can turn off the video. It's fine. I understand it. It's a lot of stuff that I got through, a lot of waste, um, but I will be recycling everything that I can. And this is a passion of mine. Um, I love collecting body care and I love using it up. I love finishing things and um, getting that satisfaction of having an empty. It's so fulfilling. So with that being said, you know, please don't be rude or hateful in the comments. I will most likely just delete it. Um, so anyways, if you're excited to see what I've finished up in the last six months, then go ahead and like this video and subscribe for more content like this because it really does, it really does help my, uh, help my channel out. I'm almost to a thousand subscribers, which means I can be monetized soon and hopefully have ads on my videos. So we're really, really close, you guys. I think the last time I checked, we were at 850. So really exciting stuff. But um, that was like a three minute intro. Sorry for that. Um, let's go ahead and get into everything that I finished up. It's going to be a lot of stuff. So I'm going to have to take a minute and set it all up. And then I will see you guys once it's all set up. So here we go. Okay, here is a quick overview of six months worth of empties. We have candles over there. We have some skincare, some makeup, uh, home fragrance in general, a few random things, hair care, and then body care. So let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off with hand soaps, I have 12 hand soaps that I finished in six months, which is good. That's like two a month. So that's really awesome. We use them in my bathroom upstairs and then also in the bathroom that we share like downstairs with my whole family. Um, so starting off with the gel formulas, fresh lemonade, gentle gel, boardwalk vanilla cone, gentle gel, uh, toasted vanilla chai, vanilla bean noel, and the deep cleansing. This is from a few years ago, actually. And then in the foamings, we have hip hop hooray sprinkled donut, raspberry tangerine, I'll be there, coconut lime verbena, purely clean kitchen mandarin, coconut mint drop, iced cinnamon rolls, toasted vanilla chai, and love ya a latte. So that's all for the hand soaps. Moving on down to all the pocket bags, we have three, six, nine, 12, 15. 
15 pocket backs. So I kind of did it in order and most of the stuff is like this, like fall, winter, and then spring, summer. So starting off with winter, Frosted Coconut Snowball, Oh Snap Merry Cookie, a favorite of me and my mom. And these are also used up by my mom as well. Um, pumpkin Apple, this is Santa's favorite Merry Mango. I don't know why they did a mango scent for Christmas, but whatever. Um, ho 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 Tis the Season and Slay All Day Merry Cherry Cheer. Stay Magical Unicorn Petals in three different ones of that. <laughs> Somebody Loves You, Buttercream Cupcake, Champagne Toast, Strawberry Pound Cake, Vanilla Coconut, Raspberry Tangerine, and Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. And then, okay, the scrubs, don't judge me. And I'm sorry that I'm doing this on like an angle, but I can only go so far around this uh, giant pile of stuff. But these are all the body scrubs that I finished. So in total, it's four. Um, this one, if you guys didn't see whenever I like put this in my empties, the sugar ants actually got to this body scrub because it was not closing properly. So like this lid right here broke in the back. And so it wasn't closing properly. And I think they smelled it or something. And they got into my bathroom and they were all over it and it was disgusting. So I put this in a Ziploc bag to put in my empties. Um, but yeah, finished off and it'll be Noel. I will be very careful with the sugar scrubs going forward. I'll probably be keeping this packaging and put them in this instead. Um, but starting off, we have cranberry and fig um, bodies whipped soap, whipped salt and soap scrub from the um, arthritic artisan. This is actually a local... Um, company to me found her at a trade show and bought this I'm gonna keep this jar though the coffee and cream this is so good I hope they come out with it again I pr they probably won't because nobody liked it but me um, and then the vanilla bean noel this was the whipped confetti and then I have a honey scrub from pink it was pretty good but it was like sticky so I don't I didn't like it and then we have all our minis so right here I have finished off three mini shower gels sunshine mimosa pretty as a peach and hot cocoa and cream two mini body creams hot cocoa and cream and tiki bay island margarita and then one mini fragrance mist and twisted peppermint and then for hand lotions i count this one as a hand lotion because that's what i usually i actually finish it off as i have three six seven hand lotions warm vanilla sugar happy easter sweet bunny berry frosted coconut snowball christmas candy cane merry cookie frosted cranberry and then the first aid beauty ultra repair cream in mango and then i have these two mini um perfumes that i got just like from sephora i think when i purchased stuff this is the uh, you can't even read it but it's the kaoli um i think this is like what does it say vanilla 28 perfume from Huda Beauty. I'm going to purchase this in full size. I, I definitely plan on it. It's so good. And then this one is the Lake and Sky 1111 perfume. Did not like this. It was very fresh and kind of manly. Okay, moving on. Sorry if you keep seeing my leg. I'm sitting down trying to do this in the least awkward way poss possible, but it's kind of impossible to do that. Um, but I finished up five shower gels, five shower gels in six months. That's really good. So um, we have winter candy apple in the confetti moisturizing body wash. I will be getting this again next year. I don't know how I went this long without buying winter candy apple, but it's so yummy. Um, Santa's blueberry shortbread, frosted cranberry, sweater weather, and vanilla mocha cafe. Again, I love this scent and nobody, I mean, not nobody loved it, but not a lot of people talked about it, but I loved it. It was so good. And then I just saved a random skin to mint, um, shave gel. I've definitely used more than one. I guess this is the only one that I remembered to save. Um, I finished off four body lotions, Twinkling Nights, Coconut Mint Drop, Vanilla Mocha Cafe, and Sleep Black Chamomile. And then I definitely forgot to mention it up here, but I did finish off one body oil from the um, Mineral Co. line at Bath & Body Works in Moonstone. I really like their body oils. I'm using one in Eucalyptus Spearmint right now. Really, really good. Or Eucalyptus Tea, sorry. And then I finished off only two body creams, Sugar Cherry Crisp, so, so, so good, and Pink Velvet Cupcake, also one of my favorites. And then I only finished off one full-size Fine Fragrance Mist. So they take me a very long time to use. Um, this one was probably, I think it was from 2013, 2014. There's a four at the bottom right here, so that's how you can tell. 2014, and my favorite scent of all time. So really, really good. Sad that it's gone. And then a few random things. Um, I love this self-tanner. It's the Mind Tan brand in the olive shade. So good. I have all of... Uh, uh, 
I have an olive complexion because I am Italian. So if you also have an olive complexion, I highly recommend it. I leave it on for like two hours. It's amazing. I have not been using it in the summer, but I definitely plan on using it again once I get pale again. So um, I kept these random two deodorants. Not sure why, but Degree Motion Sense in Tropical Touch and then just the regular Ultra Clear Black and White. Okay, I'm going to start from the bottom and go up, but this is all skincare. So we have sheet masks. I finished off one, two, three, four, five sheet masks. I definitely finished more than this, but these are the only ones that I thought to, that I remembered to, to uh, keep. I have the Cream Shop Hello Kitty Shooting Stars. I just had two of those. Um, the Tony Moly Sheet Mask in the Hemp and the Green Tea. And then I did have like a four pack of these that I finished all four of them, but this is the eye mask hydrogel sheet mask. I really, really loved this. So good. And then one random pack of makeup wipes. I don't like to use makeup wipes. They're very damaging for the planet, but I already had these before I decided to make that decision. Um, and it came in a FabFitFun box. So these black charcoal wipes, I hated them. So whatever. Okay. Moving on still in skincare. We have the NYX micellar water. Definitely recommend it. It's like four bucks on Amazon. Um, the Clear Proof um, Cleansing Gel. These are two cleansers. And then the Mary Kay Botanical Cleanser. And then I also have the, the um, Botanical Hydrate, which is the moisturizer. Um, more moisturizers. I have a Cetaphil Mini Face Moisturizer. Um, Mary Kay Naturally Stick. And then I have this Pixi Glow Tonic. Everybody talks about how amazing it is, but it did nothing for my skin. Um, the Body Shop Vitamin E. Um, body, no face oil. And then I finished off quite a few little minis here. Um, I got a lot of minis sets from like Ulta when I was purchasing things in the like winter time. Um, this is not from that, those little Ulta sets, but this is a clear proof from Mary Kay, um, toner. I have the peach and lily glass skin serum did nothing for me. DHC deep cleansing oil. I did buy the full size in this. I really loved it. The Confidence in Cream from It Cosmetics, that was really good. And then the Kiehl's Night Recovery um, Essence. And then also the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Serum. I finished off the Beat Shield Sunscreen. They discontinued it, sadly. Um, the I'm Cure Pimple Patches, those were horrible. Don't buy them. <laughs> buy the Cause RX ones, which I finished off probably two or three or four packs of those, and I didn't keep them. Um, but the Cause RX ones are way better than this. And then a face mask, which is a charcoal one from Cosmetics, the Detox Activated Charcoal Mask. So total for skincare, I finished off 23 items, including the face mask. Um, moving on, a few little like lip products. The um, Bath & Body Works Mint Drop Exfoliating Lip Scrub. I love their lip scrubs. They're so good. If you ever find them on sale, like I would never pay, what is this, $8.50? No. But uh, if you find them on sale, definitely pick them up. The Innisfree Lip Sleeping Mask, very good. I definitely recommend this. I found it at TJ Maxx, I think. And then um, Candy Cane Chapstick and a Mary Kay Satin Lips Lip Mask. So four lip products, but I definitely finished more, but I probably just threw them away. And then I have 13 makeup products that I finished off, which to me is actually really good. I usually don't finish off a lot of makeup, so I'm very happy that I finished off a lot of things. Um, in the last six months and as you should you should finish off your mascaras pretty quickly you're only supposed to keep them around for I think three months um, so I have the London what is this butter London brand double decker lashes mascara it was horrible Mary Kay Fanorama love that it's superhero lashes mascara I hated that and the Lancome Monster big mascara this was, this was really good Four concealers, which is crazy for me. Very happy about that. The ColourPop No Filter Concealer, hated it. Elf Camo Concealer, hated it. Mary Kay Under Eye Corrector, really, really good. I've already repurchased it. And then the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This shade is a little too dark for me, but I finished it off. Love, 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 love this concealer. I have it in two different shades. Uh, two brow gels, CoverGirl Easy Breezy, and then the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. Neither one of these were my super favorite, but they weren't bad. Um, a mini primer from Elizabeth Mott in the Thank Me Later primer, and then the Yensa BC uh, little mini foundation, and then I did finish off a black eyeliner. I never finished these, so really, really glad that I finished that one. And then for hair care, I did finish off 23 products. So starting up here, I have shampoos. This is the Joyco Moisture Recovery Shampoo. I've already repurchased it, so good. And then Head & Shoulders Instant Relief, hated that. Um, and then I have two of the Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate Free Shampoo Scrub. I will continue to repurchase this. It's amazing. 
the derma e scalp relief conditioner really loved this it was so good i definitely finished the conditioner i mean the shampoo as well but i don't have it i probably threw it away um, but that was really good i have two herbal essences curl boosting mousses i will always repurchase that i love that so much for my curly hair I have the Living Proof Dry Scalp Treatment. Even though it's expensive, I will repurchase it and I already have. Um, I have the Shea Moisture Coconut Curl Enhancing Smoothie. That's really good. Um, psoriasis Honey um, Scalp Skin Serum, I think, but I used it on my scalp. That was really good, um, especially for at the time I had a horrible um, scalp problem, so that was really nice. The Fave 4 Smooth For Sure Blowout Cream. I need to buy another one. This was just a mini. And then a Trial Brio Gio Be Gentle Be Kind Superfood Hair Mask. That was good. Um, more hair masks. I finished off the Moroccan Gold Series Hair Treatment Mask. I just found this at like TJ Maxx or something. Um, I finished off six mini shampoo and conditioners. Um, Garnier Fructis. Don't buy these. They'll kill your hair. Um, this was actually really good. The Love Beauty and Planet uh, what is this? Argan oil and lavender shampoo and conditioner. I did like that. The Chi Iron Guard, the Fave 4 Texture Takeover, the Redken Control Addict um, hairspray, and then the Kenra Platinum Snail CC Cream. And that's it for hair care. And I did finish off a few random things. <laughs> Nail polish remover and then two Sachet V top coat and base coats. Definitely recommend those. Okay, moving on, we have like a little home fragrance category. This is like really hard to get to. Um, so currently I have these two going downstairs, Marimosa and Snowy Peachberry. We have Autumn Frosted Forest Peppermint Brownie. If they come out with Peppermint Brownie again, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. It smells so delicious. Um, Thanksgiving, definitely gonna pick that up again next year. And then two Airwicks. I'm pretty sure they're just like the laundry scent. I don't, I don't remember what they were, but I'm pretty sure it's just laundry. Um, and then I have five car fragrance refills, strawberry pound cake, twisted peppermint, champagne toast, watermelon lemonade, and vanilla bean Noel. And then I just got into uh, wax melts in probably about February of this year. So I only have three that I finished off. I have Sonoma confetti birthday cake, uh, mainstays sugared berry, and then luminescence is actually from Dollar Tree toasted marshmallow. So now we're gonna move on to candles. Quite a few, as you can see. I actually reduced my candle collection by half. I had 42-ish, I think, at the beginning of this year, and now I have 23. So, and I actually just finished off a few um, already in July, but I can't include that because this is only six months worth of empties. So, um, I finished off four single wicks. I finished Peppermint Marshmallow. Definitely going to look for this again next year. Highly recommend it if you like something light and sweet. Um, pumpkin Spice Latte. I will be picking up this again this winter. So, so, so good. Champagne Toast. Love it. And Eucalyptus Mint. Great for the bathroom. And then I did order it kind of like fall, winter winter and then just like whatever and then other brands so we're gonna start up here with the fall we have blessed pumpkin pecan waffles so yummy pumpkin donut shop one of my favorites pumpkin peanut brittle please tell me they're bringing it out again this year if not i'm gonna have to go to poshmark or mercari um hot cocoa and scream cinnamon caramel swirl and spiced gingerbread moving back up we have mary cookie vanilla bean noel which i actually only used on the warmer if you burn it you really can't smell it but if you put it on a wax warmer or a candle warmer it works so well peppermint sugar cookie vanilla bean marshmallow white caramel cold brew one of my favorites and frosted sugar cookie and the last bath and body works candle is strawberry pound cake and then i have a few goose creeks so here's let's stay home um fried apple sugar and then white icing cinnamon roll, which I actually finished off on the candle crock. I hate these uh, jar candles, definitely don't recommend them, but the three wicks burn out really, really well. And then I have two little Glade candles, Sultry Amber Rhythm and Warm Flannel Embrace. If I can find them again for this $2.50 price, I think I got them at Big Lots, I'll definitely get them again. Um, they were really good, especially for the bathroom. And then our own candle company, Tropical Paradise. And the last one, Christmas Morning from DW Homes. This was a great candle. So in total for three wick candles, that's, or I guess just all these, this is 20 plus the four. So I finished off 24 candles in six months, which is four candles a month, six candles, yeah, four candles a month, which is really good. So in total right over here, I finished off 20 and then including these single wicks, 24. So I finished off 24 candles in six months, which is about four candles a month. Really good pace, I think, to be finishing off candles and um, definitely set myself up for success. 
so I can buy a lot in the fall, which I'm really looking forward to. So that's everything for all of the six months worth of empties. And you may notice that I changed and I actually ate dinner and I'm filming for my phone instead of my actual camera um, because this turned into a very long video. It took me 20 minutes to put out all this stuff on the floor and get it organized like how I wanted it to. And I'm not looking forward to sorting it all out for recycles but such is life. <laughs> so that's everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below how many candles do you typically finish off in a month? Because I think four a month is a really good pace, but I'm really curious to see like how many candles you guys finish off. So let me know down below in the comments, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.